there was a certain rich man, which was clothed in purple and fine linen, and feasted lavishly every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus at his side. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you in your lifetime received your good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and you are tormented. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from here to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from there. Then he said, I beg you therefore, Father, that you would send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went to them from the dead, they would repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. What we just read here from Luke chapter 16 from the Bible was a story from Jesus Christ about the afterlife. Although many claim that Jesus told the story as a parable, the fact is that this story was intended by Jesus to be taken literally and not as a metaphor of some kind. This story is perhaps the most important story that he ever told because so much is revealed to us about the afterlife. As we can see, the poor beggar Lazarus was reunited with his ancestor Abraham in paradise. And the rich man, meanwhile, was burning in hell as punishment for his bad life that he lived on earth. We don't know much about the rich man, but we do know that he refused to repent. And as a result, he went to hell. As for Lazarus, he serves as an example to those who are poor that there is hope of a life after death, where they will be reunited with family and comforted in paradise. This story not only shows the punishment of God on evildoers, but it also gives hope to believers that eternal life awaits those who do well and suffer in this life.